So today I want to go over the Necromancer builds that I've been trying out and having some fun with and rate them based on how viable they are and of course a little bit how fun they are um, in the game. Now Necromancer, like a lot of other classes, suffers from really having one slash two very superior builds compared to all the others and that makes theory crafting and testing other builds like I have been doing absolutely miserable because i'll go from like bone spear whom everyone knows is just absolutely insane dps to i don't know a summoner build or another build and it's just like wait where did all my damage go because of how much better bone spear is than the other builds but with that said let's just start off with the bone spear guys um there's a few reasons why this is so good uh, you have such high critical strike damage stacking is the main reason though uh, with your ossified key passive with the um, aspects that kind of amp that up and the amount of crit strike chance and crit strike damage that you have you're constantly critting you're constantly stacking up the absolute nukes that bone spear is and what's really cool about it is you're actually able to really get some insane damage if you're able to play within the range of bone spear and take advantage of the kind of ricochet back. That's what you see with the Uber Lilith fights, where people stand on the edge and they'll shoot a bone spear and it'll hit the boss and then come back and smack for even more damage. The key with this build though is managing your essence. Uh, the, the kind of idea is that you're scaling up your damage based on how much essence you have over a certain amount and then you scale up the cost, but also the damage of the Bone Spear itself. And so one Bone Spear is going to take a lot of your essence, but you have things to generate it back. And of course, you have ways to essentially reduce the cost with your gear. So this starts off pretty strong, even without the right gear. But the key is the kind of consistent damage that you're going to get takes a little while uh, to be able to reduce those costs and really start to get that massive damage. Um, pretty insane build the one definitely that i played the most on the necromancer why because it's just the best as i found and uh yeah i mean you gotta play the bone spear guys if you're trying out the necromancer the next one i want to talk about is actually bone spirit this is a build that i found extremely extremely fun probably the one i've had the most fun with it's gonna go in a tier now part of the reason why it's so good is because it's also a bone skill uh as we were going to talk about bone skills on the necromancer just have an inherent advantage uh due to how strong the key passive and legendaries um are for the bone skills just like the bone spear you're gonna be stacking up a ton of critical strike damage a ton of critical strike chance because of the bone skills but the key with this is that it's basically one button press nuke everything i've seen this hit for tens of millions i've seen uh some other people hit for like 70 million damage on one bone spirit um i've not quite hit that high i've hit for like 16 million so far um obviously i'm not max level and i have not maxed min max this build but that 16 million is already insane. Um, the only time I've gotten close to that really on like the rogue, for example, is when you're starting to stack up a bunch of poisons. Um, the rogue really doesn't do massive smacks like that, uh, which is what I found super fun about it. And it's actually really good because when it hits, you know, it doesn't just hit that single target. It hits and it explodes. So you can actually clear out packs with this, which is one of the concerns I had. Um, but when it comes to killing off like a boss monster, it's kind of funny because uh, you'll run in, you'll cast your bone spirit. And then as soon as you start regenerating that essence, you can start hitting it again. Uh, but it's basically like a one shot wonder for clearing out normal dungeons or like relatively equal to your nightmare dungeons. You can actually one shot some of the bosses, which is really, really fun. Um, so definitely recommend if you haven't tried already bone spirit out. It is absolutely insane. So Bloodlands is actually the one I recently just swapped off of. Um, this is this is a bad. This is uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, if, if there's a D tier, uh, I probably uh, could argue that this is like a D tier build. Um, I removed the D tier because I actually I don't know if any build realistically is so bad to where um, it's just not doable for like nightmare dungeon farming and such. 
But if there was one, I think that um, Bloodlands would probably be the one. The key with this one is that the aspects that you're using for this are so much weaker. Like, you can't use your bone synergies because you're using a blood skill, obviously, right? Uh, but the, the aspects that you have in comparison with like Bone Spear and Bone Spear are just so much worse. Not only that, but also Blood Lance itself, it throws a spear, it stays in that target, and then it hits that enemy and all other enemies lanced. Uh, the key is that you have to try to lance as many targets as possible, try to AoE everyone down. It's actually pretty decent uh, for particularly killing off a couple of elite packs uh, or elite monsters at the same time. Let's say you have like three elites, Bloodlands, 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 you're hitting all three of them. That's uh, not bad, but like, why would I do that instead of just bone spearing all of them one shot or bone spear or, or um, bone spearing them with a ricochet that hits all of them one shots as well? Um, both of those things deal with elites easily way better than the Bloodlands. And I've just found this build to be um, very intensive compared to even like bone spear or uh, bone spear. And the payoff just isn't there. So if you guys are trying to blood build, I wouldn't go with Bloodlands. The next build is uh, sort of an Infinity Mist or Infinity Mist <laughs> Blood Mist build. And actually, this one's not bad. Um, the damage is not as high, not even close uh, to Bone Spirit or Bone Spear from what I've tested. But what is nice about it is that your survivability is actually really high. Um, and it's something that's really nice because... Uh, even in Bone Spirit and Bone Spear, you can still die very easily because Necromancer still has the same problems where, you know, you're slow, um, you don't have a lot of CC breaks, etc. With this, because you're reducing that cooldown, because you're running Corpse Explosion kind of as that um, trigger, you actually have quite a few options. Now, this one, uh, unlike the other builds that I ran, I did run Summons with because I wanted to take advantage of the uh, Shadow Blight passive and things like that. And I found that to be quite nice, but once again, with the damage being so much lower than the other two options above it, I just felt like this build wasn't getting there for me. And uh, unfortunately, that's kind of the way it is for all the builds underneath the Bone Spear um, and Bone Spirit. But, you know, as per usual, it's pretty good, but if you're looking to, to really push, definitely recommend one of the Bone builds. Lastly, we have the full-on summoner build. And actually, I found the summoner build to be a little bit better than the Infinimist um, in some scenarios. And then in other scenarios, summoner builds like, oof, <laughs> you know? Um, so I think probably right out uh, after the Infinimist build. The thing with the minion build is you actually have a, a insane aspects, especially when you have Army of the Dead, you can get some insane attack speed um, upgrades, some insane damage reduction, some insane uh, damage increasing, uh, etc. And you could also get all the different aspects that increases the amount of capacity. So you'd be running around with uh, some insane amounts of warriors. I believe it's six uh, mages, which I believe is five. You could have your golem. You could have some, a, bi a big army. Let's just get that out of the way, which is exactly what I wanted. And I actually tested it out on like bosses and it's super good uh, because the thing with bosses is that oftentimes most bosses that I've fought aren't able to kill off all the minions very quickly, and all the minions are hitting that one target, which is really, really good. The problem with it is that when you're going through like dungeon clearing, um, the minions kind of mess up. Um, I'm not sure if it's bugged or what, but the minion aggro is a little odd. I wish I could like control it manually myself. If that was the case, it'd probably be um, a little bit higher, but clearing out dungeons makes it so hard with minions because if you walk and they get stuck behind something or they're fighting something and you want to continue onwards, you're not going to have your minions grouped up and able to one-shot the elites when they come by. It's just a little awkward, okay? Uh, and that's the big problem with it, and they die very easily um, at that point. If they're all stacked up together and you have, like, the army of the dead going, you can reduce their damage. They actually don't die for boss fights. The problem is, is that they'll die and you have to constantly keep summoning them, which takes time. It's not that you can't do it, it's that it takes more time. And at the end of the day, when we're considering like farming for XP or farming for loot, um, or even pushing at the end of the day, you don't want to be sitting there resummoning things uh, over and over and over again. So unfortunately, at the end of the day, um, the damage was good, 
very, very good on single target characters. When we consider pushing or farming or anything to do with like clearing out a bunch of dungeons and such, uh, the summoner build falls a lot, a lot short compared to the three above it. Um, so yeah, uh, unfortunately this is the build I want it to work the most and I'll have a video on a lot of these. I, I wanted to test it before I started like maxing out a lot of it and uh, give you guys kind of like my initial impressions. This might evolve uh, later on when I min max the builds, um, but as far as I've seen, the only two that I've really seen min maxed uh, is Bone Spear and Bone Spirit. And I want to show you guys Bone Spirit because that is absolutely my favorite build out of all of them, which is really, really fun. So I'm going to start building out that right now um, and show you all uh, rebuilding out, I should say, and show you all that soon. So if you're interested in that, be sure to leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel, guys. More content coming. Uh, my son, he's like 19 months old. He got sick the other day, so I've been uh, focusing on that. But we're back with some videos and uh, I'll be here.